Not a whole lot, man. So I want to learn a little bit about you um, toward the downstairs um, booth. And you got a lot of trophies. You've done a lot of work. We got you a couple, a lot yeah. Of time. What is, where's the passion lie? What got you to do all the hard hours that have equaled the success? Man, that's a big question. Um, I don't even know where to start really. I mean, we could bring it all the way back to the grow shop days. Uh, I used to work in a grow shop and people always had bug problems and mold problems. And uh, I happened to be experimenting making seeds and they would come in, I tell them, I knew the bug juice didn't work. I knew the, the mold shit didn't help the mold. So I would just tell them to go home and burn everything, yeah. clean it yeah. down with bleach, and then I'd say pop these seeds right here, and I just give them seeds, boom, boom, and um, I did that to lots for for a while, man. And people would come back and they say, Mike, man, that was amazing, like it worked. I didn't have mold or bugs. Uh, can I have some more seeds? So I kept just giving them out. So for like two or three years, I was just doing that for people, yeah. kicking them. And all of a sudden, one day, uh, the owner of the grow shop said, Mike, I met this guy. He says he's from a magazine called High Times, and. Uh, they're having a competition here. He's like, I think you should go enter. So sure as shit, we did their little directions and went and entered. And I took second place in the High Times Cannabis Cup in Seattle. Yeah, thanks, man. And um, that was kind of where it all started, man. Right then there, I realized, like, wow, this is really something. So I started making more seeds, doing more experiments. And just over the years, man, it won one second place, went to a third place, went to a cannabis cup. And then one cup turned into three to five to shit. I don't even know how many I have now. I think 100 plus. So. Um, it's been a good ride, and, um, you know, we, we started it for the people out there, man. We started it doing, giving back, and I think that, I mean, even to this day, we're still trying to, we give away so much stuff, um, look out for anybody who needs help. We have a Discord community that is full of eager and happy people to assist you in any way they can, including myself, that, um, you know, I think that's that's kind of where the passion's at. That's fantastic. Now... With this, obviously, you didn't do this alone. You have a great team that supports you. Oh, We've yeah. met several people down there. What would you say to um, people out there when they're getting into genetics? Um, what's the difference between a craft, crafted genetic versus just something that you know is out and about? Well, I think it's one of those things where a lot of some of the best strains out there, I hate to say it, were mistakes. Um, and that's not necessarily bad. Yeah. It's just that a lot of amazing, uh, unprecedented new things aren't always, you know, kind of premeditated, right? Yeah. They kind of just happen. Um, and some of the best things happen just like that. Um, however, what I do is I, I try to take amazing things and put them with other amazing things. Um, and what we found is when you do that, you, when you put amazing with amazing, you usually end up with something pretty awesome too yeah. um now if you go sticking some boofy with something amazing you're gonna get something between boofy and, and amazing which you can downgrade but if you start with amazing and amazing you're gonna end up with some also amazing so, so the adage fire in fire out 100 percent. fire in fire out is really a thing um and i think as long as you keep that criteria um and you keep that mindset going uh it's hard not to achieve what you're looking for well, as somebody that's actually growing the musty buffalo, the apple fritter, um, and then the OFMG, um, I definitely have seen it, like expansive growth rates, really beautiful vegetation, awesome. even canopies. So it really, you know, plays a part into the science and everything that you know you've done so far. Last question for you is: What can we expect in 2023? Is there anything coming that we should be aware of? 2023 is going to be the year of the falcon okay she's the coming in she's coming in hot she's coming in strong and i don't know if i, I don't know if everybody's ready for her or not you hear so, that i don't know if everybody's ready falcon for that. nine lineup is coming in 2023 caca baby caca <laughs> well that's awesome dude well thank you mike for being no on worries, the show man. thank you for your time appreciate you my man. guys if you haven't heard of exotic genetics make sure you jump online right now check them out Get yourself a pack of fire seeds and grow some fire in your garden. And we'll see you guys next year at Madman Plant. Wow.